Hello everyone and welcome on this new video from Extreme Trader. This is Stella speaking. So before we start, please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Now today's video is gonna be different because I'm gonna play here a game with you. Uh, as you can see right now guys, I'm actually on my demo account because I just want to do this. And actually I'm done with my trades for today. As we can see right now, uh, the timing in Dubai is 3.36 p.m. And I actually have finished already all of my trades and achieved my target of $300 and I stopped right there. So therefore, I want to enjoy trading for once. I'm really tired trading the live account, especially when recording on YouTube. Therefore, I decided here it's time to enjoy and have some fun together. Now, let me just tell you what we will do. So right here, I have here a spin. Now, what's this, what, the point of this wheel spin right here? Now, as you can see, what I'm going to do right here is I'm going to open five trades. And of course, I will use the spin wheel to choose randomly what pair uh, I'm going to trade. And I will trade using, of course, my strategy on... Uh, this is, of course, a movie I'm watching on Netflix. Uh, right here, um, we will actually be applying the strategies right here, as you can see. So if you go to my channel and click on the playlist, right here, you will find Forex Sculpting Strategies. Click, uh, click on this one and now you will find here a treasure of st uh, strategies. All these uh, videos guys can really improve your trading skills. Each one of them have a lot of um, knowledge and information about how to trade using my style. Uh, mainly of course this one right here, the best forex scalping strategy explained in details. Um, price action, the best forex uh, strategy, how to make 20 pips every day. Uh, trading the news, uh, the trend lines, oh my god, this is really the most important one right here, these two, um, these two right here, the magic of trend lines are going to be very, very important and um, um, going to be helpful in our day trading for today, also the Fibonacci retracement, we will mainly use these two in today's video, combining of course the price action and the deal of the day. However, let's now start the game and let's see now what I can do with five trades uh, being picked randomly with the spin wheel. So let's begin the madness and click on the spin wheel and let's see the first trade. The first pair will be Eurocad. All right, Eurocad it is. Of course, I'm not crazy to do this on my live account. So that's why I'm actually on the demo account. Yeah. Guys, let's just talk about the deal of the day for the AUDGPY of today. This morning, I sent a deal of the day for scalping, but however, the market, guys, has reversed from the take profit level. I actually have to mention this in my videos. Those who are following me for a long time, they know this already. If any signal reversed uh, from the take profit level, it instantly disqualifies this signal and you can no longer trade it. But anyway, I actually have sent here on my free group of Telegram telling people that this signal uh, reversed from the take profit level, making this signal not valid anymore. Highly advised to avoid it. And if you took it already, we can expect the bullish reversal at 93.891. Right here is um, uh, 93.891. Exactly from here, it went in about... Um, 18 pips against our direction right now it's running in profit and the stop loss has also been adjusted so again guys i highly recommend you to join the free group of telegram to receive these kinds of updates because if you are there you would have received that and avoided this trade however if you are not there then you are just trading alone and by yourself so anyway uh eurocad 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 and by the way the link to join the free group is provided in the description below of this video so let me see if I can find actually a trade right here. Okay, it's time to get ready. Uh, fix my chair. And okay, adjust my back. Let's see now if we, if we can actually find uh, the next direction of the market. Now, as we can see right here on the EuroCAD, I'm going to use, of course, the support and resistance. And as we can see right here, um, if we look carefully, that level of a strong key support level has been respected as a resistance. And right now it's being respected also as a support based on the one hour time frame. By the way, guys, the, the purpose of this video is never to show off at all. It's just to show you that learning my strategy can help you to trade anytime you want. Let me just show you something, guys. Actually, right here, I'm trying to figure out the next direction and the next trade. So we can see clearly that the market has actually been able to respect that level of a support, number one. 
Number two, we are having here a broken level of a resistance trend line. The market kept rising above that level of a previous resistance trend line and seems like right now it's actually creating right now the new support trend line. Interesting. It means that we can actually start buying the Euro CAD. But however, we have to find the good entry. Let me now move to the 15 minute time frame. Now check this out. On the 15 minute time frame, that is really a good entry right now. Uh, because right here we're having a bullish breakout candle and this is the nearest support to that bullish breakout candle and it seems like the market is indeed reversing at that level combining that also with the resistance trend line as well check this out so right now we are having also a broken level of resistance trend line and a bullish breakout candle and a retest of the same level right here of a new support trend line so one hour time frame 15 uh, minute time frame all of them says to start buying right now and place the buy order fantastic and let's take our uh, put our tech profit level to be right here of course at the nearest resistance to my entry and the stop loss is just going to be equivalent so meaning uh the stop loss will be approximately 12 pips all right so, so let's just do the same to be almost 12 pips exactly all right so we're done with the euro cad let's go to the spin wheel again and just uh uh, spin it again and now we are with the euro gpy fantastic good all right let's go to the euro gpy euro gpy all right so let's just go to the one hour time frame guys again the purpose of this video is never to show off i just want you guys to learn how to trade using my style using my strategy understanding that with the support and resistance and trend lines and fibonacci we can always figure out the next direction of the market as long as you are scalping it's highly important to remember that all I'm doing right now is just only scalping. I actually I don't really have that ability to guess the entire direction of the market for a long time. Um, actually, my specialty is in scalping mainly. Anyway, right here for the Euro JPY is different story, or not? Actually, we are having here a strong key resistance level at 156.893. And based on the one hour time frame, it seems like the market is actually going to continue the rise till it reach that level of a resistance. So the market is, seems to be bullish at the moment. Now, if we check here the support trend line as well, check this out. Yes, indeed, that level of support trend line has indeed been respected. We had here a bearish breakout candle and we thought that the market is going to create here a new resistance trend line after the bearish breakout from support trend line that didn't happen the market just kept rising again and respected again the same level of support trend line so meaning euro gpy is going to be bullish let's now move to the 15 minute time frame so on the bigger time frame we have identified the uh, direction of the market right now on the smaller time frame we will identify our entry where exactly can I place my buy order? Exactly. Look at that. So if I scroll to the left side right now, look at that. Let's just track it one by one. So right here, we're having the lowest level of the support, uh, which has also been respected right here. That's really good. That's very nice. It has also been respected right here. Keep, uh, keep in mind that this is, all, this is always the lowest level of the support. And right now, the market has just reversed from that level. So most likely now the USD, uh, uh, sorry, the Euro GPY is actually going to continue the rise. So I can actually open my buy order right now. That trade might actually go against me for about eight pips. I think that's going to be fine. Uh, let's just move to the five minute time frame. Uh, let me see. Actually, I really want to place my buy order exactly right there. Just to be accurate as much as possible. Exactly. Just like that. Uh, we have to wait for the market to fall for another six pips before we can place now the buy order. I think it's going to be wiser, actually, if I, um, it's going to be wise if I just wait. I think I j I'm just going to wait. I want to show you guys how we can have the perfect entry. So that level of a support has already become right here a resistance and faced right here a bullish breakout. And now the new five minute candle has just been born. So therefore, I will just wait. I will pause the recording now and I'll be, I'll be waiting for this candle to reach that level of a support and then I will place the buy order. So let's now pause the recording. Oops, I think I'm kind of late. I think the market is indeed rising. Um, 
Actually, I'm really thinking if I should place the buy order right now. Actually, let's do it. Yeah, why not? We are just having fun here. I don't want to stress myself at all. And we are talking about demo accounts, so it's really fine here. Um, look at that. The uh, EuroCAD is already in profit. Now, actually, since I have placed my trade right here, uh, the take profit level, my friends, will be right here at the nearest resistance to my entry. Therefore, let me just do it and just uh, just my take profit level to be right there. All right, good. So now both of the trades running in profit. That's really great. Back to the spin wheel, uh, spin wheel and let's click again and see our next customer or next. Uh, uh, let's see. NZDGPY. NZDGPY it is. All right. So what is the NZDGPY right here? Yeah, here there you are. Now let's go to the four hour time frame. Now, actually, this might actually be a little bit tricky. Um, I think on the bigger time frame, we cannot really identify anything at all. Let me just delete everything here. It's annoying me. So let me just uh, start with the daily chart. So on the daily chart, we are having here a strong key support level. Oh my God, guys, we are going in good profits here. Um, NZDGPY is actually right now on daily chart is facing a support zone, which indicates that we actually have a chance to start buying the market. Okay, so the initial idea here is to buy the market. Let's now move to the four hour time frame. So as you can see, the NZDGPY has already been able to respect that level of a strong key support level and right now it's reversing on it. So now to know if I should actually open the trade or not of a buy order, we have to identify how long is this candle going to keep flying to. I mean, how long is this candle going to keep rising to? Where is the target? I mean, now the candle is green, it's rising, so it's going up. But the, t the question is, how far is it going to keep going for? So the answer lies with the trend lines. Check this out. So right here, my friends, we're having that level of a resistance trend line. Look at that. That level of resistance trend line has been respected for three times, if not even more, as a resistance trend line. Then faced right here a fake breakout. So the market has actually failed to create here a new supported trend line. That means that the market right now, after rising again, most likely it will be respecting the same level of resistance trend line and falls down. Therefore, I'm going to place actually a sell order. But let me just confirm if this is really a good entry. So let's just now move to the smaller time frame to the 15 minute time frame. Now on the 15 minute time frame, actually, I need to delete this. Let me just delete it. Now back to the 15 minute time frame. Right now, actually, we are facing a resistance zone. So I think it's going to be right here a good idea to start selling. Uh, let me just go to the left side to confirm if there was indeed any strong resistance level on this area. Exactly as we can see, there was a strong key resistance level and a strong key support level as well. So therefore, placing now the sell order is going to be fine. Fantastic. <clears throat> and the take profit level, since we are just scalping, is going to be right here. The nearest support to my entry. And the stop loss will just be equivalent to the take profit. So everything seems to be running well so far. All right, um, guys, I just need to pause the recording. Then I'll be back to you to open the third. Oh, sorry, the fourth trade. All right, everyone. So all of the th all of the three trades running uh, running in profit. And let's gonna let's now go to the fourth uh, trade and let's spin the wheel. And our uh, fourth is going to be the USDJPY. All right, interesting. Let's now go to the USDJPY. Uh, USDJPY. All right, so I think we can actually instantly sell the market right now since we are actually facing here a resistance level. Now, this is, of course, my friends, based on the 15 minute time frame, is actually my uh resistance number one and right now i'm here on the second attempt of the resistance but we need another confirmation that we can start selling right here we cannot just sell based on a second attempt of a resistance only what we will do is simply rely on the uh trend lines so what i'm going to do right now is draw here a support trend line from this lower high to this higher high just like that now what i will do next is simply drag the very same level of resistance trend line and place it right there oh my god actually yes that's, that's that's really a good level uh, to start selling. Um, yes, 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 I'm going to place the sell order right now. And I will show you why. Let me just uh, uh, place our my, uh, our take profit and stop loss. So right now we can see clearly, my friends, that we're ha having here also that support trend line. And all what I did right here is just simply drag the very same support trend line that I have just drawn here and place it all the way on that level of a resistance trend line. Check this out right here. 
So that level of resistance trend line is now being respected again. Also, another thing that I have actually been able to spot is that level of a strong key support level, which will most likely be respected again. Um, also, if I look at the resistance trend line from this way, like that, if I draw this way, the resistance trend line like this and then drag the same resistance trend line, I think I'm not mistaken. Yes, yes, exactly. Look at that, guys. If I check this level of a resistance trend line has been respected, then face the fake breakout from that level. Why we say fake breakout? Because the market just did not create here any support trend line at all. It just failed to create a support trend line. Now the market has fallen all the way and now reached the same level of the resistance trend line. And then it's going to most likely be reversing back. And as we can see, my friends, as a result, now actually all of the trades running in profits. How I wish we did this on the live account now, right? <laughs> That's totally fine. All right. So let's now go to the last fifth and last one and spin the wheel. Uh, let me see. I hope not use GPY. NZD USD. All right, good. So let's go to the NZD USD. NZD USD. So what can we do next now with the NZD USD? Um, I think really not, not, not much. I mean, if I go to the four hour time frame. Now, let me just tell you something based on the four hour time frame. And by the way, guys, again, I have to remind everyone, do not ever apply what you are seeing right now on the live account. Never, ever. The purpose, again, is never to show off. I'm just showing you that with my strategy, you can always be able to find good setups. However, it doesn't mean at all that you should do the same on the live account or apply it um, as you are seeing it. Please don't do this, this as, at all. I'm just having fun. Even me, myself, I don't have the heart to do this on the live account. Always be sure that if you want to do this, just do it on the demo account to enjoy and to uh, uh, train yourself or practice. But... Trading the live account should be actually be taken more seriously uh, because if you do that on the live account, you will end up wiping it. That's for sure. Blowing it, sorry. Anyway, now the NZD UST has indeed been able to respect or retest actually that level of a previous support and right now has created here a new resistance, which means that the NZD UST most likely is going to continue the fall. However, we are right now stuck in the middle between a resistance and a support, which makes it a little bit tricky so let's now move to the five minute time frame i need to be able to identify where exactly i can place my sell order or buy order for that matter so what i can do right now is simply use the fibonacci retracement so i will draw the fibonacci from this lower high to this lower low just like that great now we can see that the nzd usd has indeed reversed from 23.6 now actually to be honest with you um most likely there is not 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 much can be done right now at the moment we have to wait for a better entry right now we don't actually have that good entry uh let me try actually uh what i'm going to do is just draw here a resistance trend line from this lower high to this lower low just like that fantastic what i will do next is simply drag the very same resistance trend line and place it right here at the nearest resistance trend line to our entry right here exactly as you can see, it has been respected as a support trend line. A bearish breakout happened. Then again, support trend line. Another bearish breakout happened. So as you can see, finally, we had right here the resistance trend line. So meaning that level of resistance trend line has been respected only for once. Because this right here is resistance trend line number one. So what I will do actually is waiting for the market to rise again. Reach the same level of the resistance trend line to create the second attempt of the resistance trend line. Plus... Right here on the left side, I have actually a strong key resistance level that I can rely on, which means most likely the market is going to be respecting that level of a resistance trend line. Exactly. That level of the resistance trend line, which was in the past a support uh, level as well. So let's just wait for the market to rise again right here. That's, that's going to be actually our best entry. So uh, I'm going to now pause the recording and I'll be back to you later to show you once I open the trade for the NZD USD. All right, so I guess I'm going to just place now the sell order, my friends, and just uh, get done with it. And this, the take profit level will be right here, of course, at the nearest support to my entry. And the stop loss is just going to be almost equivalent. Look at that. After I place the sell order, it's just rising. Uh, actually, I had to place here my sell order because uh, looking at the nearest resistance level right here, 
to that bullish breakout, sorry, to that bearish breakout candle. This is the nearest resistance. Therefore, I would assume that this is going to be the best level to start uh, selling the NZD USD. Now we can see that the candle is rising against our direction, but eventually it's just going to continue the rise maybe to reach that level of a resistance trend line maximum and then it's going to continue the fall if it hit my stop loss i will just open another trade because i'm certainly sure about the direction the nzd usd is for the fall and there is no question about it that level of a strong key resistance level will be respected um considering also that on the four hour time frame we are actually facing right here a strong uh, key support level which has been retested already all right, guys, so that settles it. I mean, that's everything for um, the deals. Let's just wait for them. Look at that. Oh, my God. Eurocad very close to the tech profit level. It just reversed exactly from it. Um, I think we can just close it and get done with it because it just almost reached it. I mean, it just kissed the tech profit level by 0 0.1 pip. All right, so let's get done with the Eurocad and we are done with it. Next one is um, Euro GPY. Euro GPY is still reversing, respecting that level of a previous support. It still, it still seems to be going well. Um, NZD GPY also seems to be going well so far in about uh, 7 pips of profit. Um, USD GPY also is reversing exactly from our sell area, uh, running so far in 12 pips of profit. And uh, NZD USD right now only has reached the uh, good entry. I'm thinking to open another trade just for, for having fun with it because actually this was the original entry that we were waiting for so maybe shall i open it why not come on i just don't want you guys to um think that you can do this on the live account never never don't ever do this shit on the live account <laughs> i'm just here having fun with you so therefore uh let me just now guys pause the recording and i'll be back to you to show you what will gonna be happen with all of these trades all right so that little shit is just moving against my direction uh it's all right guys this candle still has about uh three seconds for the closure now when you see the trade going against your direction you have two options number one is to panic and close it in loss number two is just to continue analyzing and see where exactly the market is going to continue the, the reversal or where the reversal is going to occur exactly so by looking at the current five minute time frame check this out Right here, we're having a very strong key level of a resistance trend line. And again, keep in mind, my friends, I'm on the five minute time frame. That level of a resistance trend line has actually been respected recently as a support trend line. And now we are having here the second attempt of the resistance trend line indicates that most likely the market right now will begin the bearish fall. Most likely. So let me just now increase the stop loss. If you are ready to do this, do it. If not, don't do this at all. Um... It always really up to you. But by the way, by the way, just to be honest here and to, to be fair, I noticed that the NZD USD has reversed from our take profit level of the weekly analysis video. This is, of course, from the midweek analysis. Sorry, from the weekly analysis. And as we can see, NZD USD has already hit our take profit level, making more than 90 pips of profit. Congratulations for anyone who have taken this signal and enjoyed the profit. Now the market has reversed exactly from our take profit level. So that makes this trade actually um, uh, under risk. I think it's, it's going to fail. Yeah, I actually, I actually forgot to check this on the bigger time frame. I didn't do that. That's one of the mistakes, rookie mistakes, I admit. But still, I have faith in that level of a resistance trend line. Let me just try to analyze it even deeper than that. Uh, let me just draw here a resistance trend line from this lower high to this higher high, just like that. And then I'm going to actually drag it all the way right here at the nearest. Mm. <clears throat> yeah, it has a potential to continue the rise. Yeah, most likely, guys. Actually, I'm going to increase the stop loss. All right, so I just want to prove to you that actually by continue analyzing the market, even if even though the trade is going against my direction, uh, we can always be sure or actually continue uh, uh, continue analyzing to find where exactly the actual reversal is going to happen. So now we have two options. Number one is this level of a resistance trend line. If not, the market most likely going to continue the rise till it respect that level of a previous resistance trend line. Now, if both of them didn't work, then just close it and loss and just suck it. Just to be honest with you, that's the, on, the only thing that we can do uh, in, this, in these cases. The rest of the signals, oh sorry, the signals, I mean, the rest of the trades are actually running well in profit. All right, 
so let's now just uh, pause the recording and I'll be back to you guys to show you what will gonna happen with the rest of these trades. And Euro GPY has already hit the take profit level, my friends. Unfortunately, I didn't see it to happening. Right here, it's front of you. The take profit level was hit as well. Fantastic. Now the rest of the trades. Um, NZD GPY is running in the break even. Um, USD GPY is in small profit. And check out the NZD USD. Exactly, my friends, what I told you. The next reversal has occurred exactly on that level of a resistance trend line. That's the reason I'm telling you always, you have to continue analyzing the market. Don't ever rush to close the trade and loss. Always be sure, if the trade has went against you, two things you have to check. Number one, are you able to afford more loss, more loss than that? Are you able to increase the stop loss? If the answer is yes, then go to step number two and just continue analyzing the market to find where exactly the next reversal is going to occur. Now, the trade is indeed going against me, so therefore we have to continue analyzing the market to find, okay, then if my first analysis has failed, what about the next one? How far the market can keep going against my direction? That is, of course, if you, cannot, if you can afford to increase the stop loss. But if not, then just leave it and you can recover easily with the next trade. So anyway, uh, let me just now pause the recording again and I'll be back to you to show you what will gonna happen with the rest of these trades. Wow, wow, check this out. I don't know what happened. Uh, the market just went crazy and actually it has respected, uh, it hit the take profit level. Uh, one second guys, I want to check what happened, one second. All right, so that is exactly what happened. Actually, I didn't pay attention to the news. Uh, it just happened now, 4.15 p.m. Dubai time. The ADP non-farm employment change uh, has affected the USD pairs. Uh, it just happened just like now, one minute ago. And let me just see what happened with the signals which we have sent uh, in the midweek analysis. All going well so far. USDJPY finally in profit. This is in profit. All right, good. Now, regarding this one, what we're doing right here, let's check the account history. Now we can see EuroCAD hit the take profit level. Um, EuroGPY hit the take profit level. USGPY has failed, of course, again, guys, because of the news that just happened front of you. NZDUST uh, hit the take profit level as well. Now look at that. The NZDUST just hit the stop loss and just now falling back. All right, guys. So I think uh, in 27 minutes, that's it. I mean, the news ruined the game for us. But in the end, guys, I just really enjoyed doing this with you. We had fun. And I think it's going to be really important, guys, if you can um, follow or watch uh, the videos I have here on my channel. Let me just see. What is it? Not this movie. Um, it's actually right here. If I click, uh, let me just one second. I don't know. YouTube for, no, for some reason is not working. I'm trying to open YouTube. Anyway, guys, uh, uh, you have seen the link of the, of the videos. Uh, we forgot, of course, the NZ DGPY. <laughs> it is still running. It is still running. Okay, 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 okay. Let's just wait for the NZ DGPY uh, to be fair. And let's see how it will go. So again, let me just pause the recording. I was about to say goodbye to you, but I really forgot about the NZDGPY. All right, let me now pause the recording and let's see what will gonna happen when the, with the NZDGPY. All right, guys. So actually, I have appointment at 5 p.m. and I'm late. Actually, I have been. I, I thought we can finish this video earlier, but it just took time. Uh, already more than 30 minutes, but for me, it's like more than an hour. So therefore, guys, I'm just gonna close it right now. Get done with it. I think we are finished here and I think I have proven my point to you. Now again, uh, please guys, don't ever ever apply this on the live account. I'm just here having fun on demo account again. So I just showed you that with my strategies guys, you can actually achieve a lot of um, potentials in your trading skills. I mean, you can open the doors for more uh, opportunities that you have never uh, been able to see in the market before. Uh, trust me guys, combining this the support trend lines with the Fibonacci and support and resistance, you can always find these good entries. Anyway guys, I will see you soon in more of uh, live trading videos and until then, I hope uh, that was informative to you and I would like to thank you for watching.